What's good with y'all, everybody? Everybody, man, this is Reset TV, man, where we take things back and move forward slowly and process and rebuild, man. But nonetheless, unless you've been living under a cave, I'm sure most of you who are on here and clicked on this video knows about the Carly Russell situation. If you don't, go ahead and Google that and come back to this video because you kind of got to be in the mix of things to let this process. But check me out. Every time I think people have intelligence, man, I wonder if y'all so emotional, atta emotionally attached to a narrative or the individual. And the reason why I say this, man, it didn't take a rocket scientist to know that this story is leaning more on being a hoax or a situation that got out of hand and, you know, folks double down. They double down at the risk of not wanting to look like a complete you know, liar, immoral human being, deplorable, in an era where we have so much situations of young black women that go missing. Women in general, but I'm talking about my black women out here, man. So many cases of missing black women that garners no media attention. And all of a sudden, this Carly situation happens. All y'all care about this stuff. <laughs> All you guys care about this stuff. And it's crazy because Carly, her, her entire description of what happened, who, what, where, half naked baby in the middle of a highway, hundreds of cars passing by, nobody out of those hundreds of cars that passed by saw the same thing, called 911, but you did. Check me out. We're gonna watch this video over here. Um, this woman, I can honestly say you gotta be careful from where you get resource from, but I'm watching this video and more than just checking it out, I just told myself to you know, do the research. And what, what I saw in the research was basically nine out of the 10 things she's saying lined up and aligned properly. Forget the fact that those of us with common sense and logic already knows, man, like, you know, more than likely, this story is a complete hoax, you know? But I'm listening to this woman, and I didn't really get too deep into the whole Carly story, but I figured if I'm gonna come out here to y'all, I gotta get my facts in order. So we're gonna check out what she's saying, and we're gonna come back with the commentary. And trust me, stick around, man. We gotta, we gotta have a little fun with this, man. Because you guys gotta make this make sense to me. And I'm talking about those of you who all of a sudden are all emotionally connected to this, which I'm telling you, are you connected to her as a victim or the narrative for so long that has been, you know, I'll say intrusive in the black community and the black family's space, very intrusive. The narrative that pushes you as queens that can do no wrong, black queens that can do whatever they want out here even make lies like Juicy Booty over there, and you guys are gonna reward them with a GoFundMe that all of a sudden was taken down because she doesn't need the money. I wonder why. Let's go ahead and play this. So the update I never wanted to truly have to report on. So we've all been talking about the Carly Russell case. This is her Instagram, Carly. Over the last few days, you know, she shocked the nation and black women all over the country felt empowered. We felt finally pleased that America. I hope y'all caught that. She mentions and black women all over the world, particularly in America, felt empowered. It's that narrative talk, man. Fourth wave feminists that these black women want to follow. Narrative, man. Let that sink in. Once she's finished everything, we, we got to talk for a second, man was caring about black women. Every new national news outlet was reporting about Carly Russell. This is the first time this has ever happened. The hunt was on to find this black girl. But then when she showed up at our house, he had got a little greasy. Why did it get a little greasy? Because she just showed up. So then that's when the world got divided. Wait, what's going on? Something is not right here. Okay, we don't want to speak. We want our privacy. Something is going on. What is going on? Well, when you start talking about something, people start DMing you the truth. It looks like 50 people from Hoover have already got fired for leaking what's really going on with this case. And it's trickled into my DM. So you mean to tell me all this was because she was trying to get back at her ex-man? Yeah, that boyfriend that spoke out about her being kidnapped and held and tortured? Yeah, that was her ex-man. And he actually cheated on her with a stripper. And Carly had it out with the stripper. And to get back at him, yeah, she 
disappeared herself. And then got afraid when it blew up. This is what Carly said to the side chick. Itch, please. He told me everything you said about me and you thought I told him to say that. I wasn't even with him. You're delusional AF if you think y'all little conversation was anything more than convenience and the fact that he used you to get back at me out of anger. You want to talk about I don't compare to you on your worst day, girl, bye. You're miserable or at least should be being a stripper to provide for a child I've heard you've Damn. had from multiple people. So I'm not surprised you don't know who your baby daddy is. Mention me or contact my N-I-G-G-A again. And you'll see I'm not the one to play with. You don't want you and your whole family touched. You're poor. I'm rich. You're a stripper. I'm a nurse. You're ugly. I'm beautiful. You could never. You're the bottom of the barrel. Sounds like a sweet queen, don't she? <laughs> Let me find out. Carly over here was a th basic 304, yo. Just a basic 304. Get offended, but we, we gonna get into this. Someone from the police department just could not watch us all suffer. So they released these details. Here's the update. She's sticking to the story that she was abducted. She says she was lured into the woods by some people who live in the woods, described as a person with orange hair, balding on top, tied her up and drove her around and put her in an 18-wheeler and fed her cheeses for two days and they painted her nails. <laughs> they kept her on 150 somewhere and somehow she managed to get away and run through the woods. Listen, man, you, you cannot make this up. You cannot make this up. I promise you, man. Somewhere, somehow, around there in the universe, Juicy Booty Smollett is proud of this young lady, man. ...to her neighborhood until she got into her house and then goes into the hospital. Hoover got some ring doorbell footage from her neighborhood and it just shows her walking casually until she gets close to her house and then she starts sprinting and flailing arms and acting a fool. She got caught stealing from work that day, fell out of nursing school and has been on drugs. She had her friend behind her and that's who picked her up. She was with her friend all weekend. The police knew she was safe because she unblocked her ex while she was quote unquote un abducted. She planned to disappear and realized it wasn't gonna work. All right, well, that's it, y'all. Uh, now we got to just get into this. I don't know if most of you guys saw the mother and father speaking during an interview. But if you watch the father's behavior, movements, reactions, he was disengaged with that interview. Couldn't even look in the camera. And mother bear over there doing what most mothers do, man. They protect their child, whether physically or through image. And she was protecting her child's in image, particularly her daughter's, you know? And end of the day, father's sitting over there. They're not giving us any type of information. And I know most of you are gonna say, well, they don't have to talk about it. They've been through a lot, whatever. Still, why even go out there then? Why even conduct this interview? This was a PR campaign to really try to clean up the mess that's gonna blow. I'm telling you, this is gonna blow up. And for those of you that don't understand logic and how you use it and align everything together, gather your facts, and then you have discernment over that. I'm telling you, you see past all of this. So again, I say, why even come out and do an interview? But apparently you can't talk about what happened. Key note here, the mother says, they couldn't even hug their daughter because she looked like she was hurt. I don't know about y'all, but with children, my children, if it's something they're going through, any parent, any parent, you're gonna somehow, you know, comfort that child. You're gonna bring them close, make them feel safe. That already was a red flag. And keep watching, father does not look into the camera mostly. He's disengaged. I, I wonder two things. If the mother and father either knows this was a ploy, a hoax, a scam, and they're doing defense right now, or the other part, they were a part of it. You tell me. But I know body language, and I'm telling you, the mother was playing mama bear, protecting her daughter's image. Dad was playing, I'm disengaged. I'm probably thinking, dang, man, I'm out here looking like a whole goofy. What happens if and when this goes left? 
I'm telling y'all this, man. Pay attention to that. Furthermore, very important, man. All the for all the people that think men like me that speak up and speak out, then y'all chastise the women that are speaking out against this. Y'all call them pick me's and all type of names just to keep the narrative going. This is why I said earlier, the, all these people that are coming against common sense are not even necessarily, you know, sharing empathy for Carly. It's more about the narrative. And then some of it is pride. I want to prove that I'm right. I'm not the normal person that always out outrages everybody over emotional act like I'm attached to people. I don't know. I don't know who these people are. The news plasters them up here. They go viral. And just like the crowd, the sheep has to follow. And I'm telling you, most of you don't care about Carly. It's the narrative you want to push. These black queens out here. Black men don't care about us. We dare speak the truth. We hate black women. Man, there's a lot of you 304s. Y'all coming out talking about mental health? Mental health. But have time to orchestrate like hoax. But she's suffering from mental health. Never mind the fact the boyfriend's messages to her gets plastered publicly. See, the boyfriend wanted to tell her the truth about her gaining weight, not looking the same, whatever. Y'all can call it me. But that good truth right there was enough to upset her and make their messages public. Same woman as you've seen in the video is threatening side pieces out here. I don't respect 304 behavior. So it's hard for me to give a damn the same way y'all do. It ain't the same, which I already know that giving a damn does not warrant y'all actually caring about Carly. You guys don't really care about Carly. It's a narrative. Black men versus black women. Black women versus the world. Nobody cares about us black women. You over here with your pom-poms, hyping this shit up. Now you got real women out here, real little girls out here who could use that same notoriety, that same attention to bring light to the case. They don't get it. And you guys further bridge the gap of what y'all say, the world not caring about black women that go missing. But you give all your energy to keep promoting something in your heart you know is wrong. You know it's foul. I'm telling y'all, man, this is a disservice to all the young black women, the older black women from any time period that has gone uh, missing and has not got the same care or attention as a young white lady. I'm not going to say that this should justify us not paying attention to black women that go missing. Nah, it's the opposite. We should give vitriol to this backlash. She ain't got accountability. We put that in their face. You guys can't let this pass. You're trying to throw out that mental health crap. That mental health crap has been one of the worst things to use on people that's actually going through that. You guys use it as a shield, man. Do not shield this young lady, man. I'm telling you, man. You're going to have people. It's funny, right? Dave Chappelle's jokes and comedy said this about the whole Juicy Booty situation. Pause. Should have been said, pause by the way, but still, y'all get it. From Juicy's situation, Dave Chappelle lamented on, you're gonna have people coming out of the woodworks doing crap like this. And to see sites like The Shade Room, which represents and embodies the narrative that I'm, I speak of, when I say it's you guys care about the narrative versus actually caring about Carly. And if you care about her so much, let's see that same energy when this blows up in smoke. Or better yet, let's just say nothing else comes out about this story, right? You're telling me the way it's going to be left off, especially how the family's moving, not trying to share no insight, nothing. You're telling me in the on the bottom of your soul that you believe that she got kidnapped. Fine. The parents coming out to talk like that, but not having really anything to say should show you a failed attempt at PR defense. They wanted to clean up their daughter's image, particularly Mama Bear. Her mother, if you really pay attention, I'm not going to do that for y'all. Y'all go back and check it out. Listen to what words the mother is using. Then listen to the father. He's disengaged, man. He is disengaged. 
That cryptic message by the boyfriend said a lot. It said he was speaking to a very insecure young woman. A young woman that y'all want to deem to be this angel, this sweet queen, this, this sweet thing, this queen, this she could do no wrong. To me, I smell 304 behavior. I smell 304 behavior so deep that this woman who went kid, who got kidnapped, abduct, abducted, notice I didn't even mention the baby part because y'all knew that was a joke. Baby running loose out there in the road. But this woman who went missing near the highway, on the highway, whatever, 48 hours later, she's brought back to her home from the woods, by the way. If y'all don't know Alabama, the geography of that alone let it sink in. This woman who went missing, either the the abductor or abductors dropped her to home, which you never hear about. Or she literally tracked herself and walked all the way home through the woods. Either way, a lot of people said that the way we're speaking, those of us that, you know, again, has the balls to talk about this. They say that we would have cared if she ended up dead. You're not understanding. It's not about if she was dead. The stories do not align with what we know would prove to be true or damn near that. Damn near close to that. This truly seems like a lie. It went out of control. Add a mixture of 304 behavior. Baby daddy and side piece. I just see a ghetto freak show. I'm sorry. And it's embarrassing and it's humiliating. Come on, man. We need this reset to happen. Now, not tomorrow, man. Holla at me, man. Gravitating away with Reset TV. Like, follow, share, comment, subscribe, y'all. For real. We're going to keep this pushing. And I'm always speak like this. But hit that notification bell because I'm going to be dropping out more and more videos. I'm maintaining two channels. You can check out GA TV for more light stuff, satire, things like that. But when I'm talking over here with this hat on, I'm telling you, man, I don't play about stuff like this. You can keep giving them shade room be type behavior with that empathy, but my empathy ain't for everybody. And I'm telling you, I smell 304 behavior at play here. I don't feel sorry for this human being. When it's proven to be true, I just want to see all of you guys crying for this young lady. Give the same energy when she got to receive backlash. I'm going to holler at y'all, man.